Sorry? No, no. Yeah. It's quite a little profit. Did you take any pictures? How's it going everyone? In today's video I'm going to be doing some street photography with the XE4. Um, you might notice this is a silver version now, uh, Fujifilm um, wanted the other version back because it was a pre-production model. So this is the real thing now, um, silver, it still looks really good in my opinion. I uh, have the 53 or 35 which would be a 53 full frame equivalent. Uh, you're going to notice that I did a lot of experimenting which was quite fun uh, actually. Um, I didn't sh photograph, you know, you know, in the typical sense of what street photography is. So I, I dealt with a lot of instances where there wasn't a lot of people. So I was kind of forced to just look at what was happening around me and find what was interesting, how to frame it with this um, lens, which I'm actually really liking this focal length. I felt like this 53 millimeter, I mentioned this in one of my past videos, it's getting me to, you know, think more abstractly, I guess. Um, you know, with less in my frame, it's it's a lot more interesting to compose and figure out what I want to include and, you know, exclude. Um, you really can't do that with, you know, wider uh, lenses. This was a fun day of shooting for me personally. I had to get out because the weather was just too nice this week. I'm 57 in Boston, early March. That's like really warm for this time. So yeah. All right, guys, enjoy the POV. All right, so this video is gonna start off with a lot of warming up. Or maybe this whole video is really just me warming up because I haven't really shot um, that frequently in a long time, um, like since before the pandemic. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I'm saying this like at the start of every single POV video, but it's true. But here I'm gonna just warm up. I see some people up here, some construction workers. All the images you're about to see in this video, besides a few black and white ones, um, we're all using straight out of camera JPEGs along with the Astia film simulation. If you guys didn't know by now, it's probably my favorite of all the simulations and I don't understand why it gets so much hate, but yeah, team Astia all the way. I honestly don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but oh well. I see there's a nice light hitting this uh, entrance here. Throughout the day, I was really just looking for color and light more so than, you know, people doing interesting things because there really wasn't a lot of people out doing stuff. I almost get hit by a van here, but I continue to keep going and I see some construction workers going down uh, this scaffolding. So as I continue on, I notice to the right of me this one tree just sticking out and it sort of caught my eye. Not sure what it was exactly, maybe the light, but I figured to snap a photo of it anyway. Um, and you know, I think that's really what you have to do when you're photographing in places that might not seem that all interesting. But you know, ultimately I hope this video just shows you that you can do street photography anywhere. Um, it doesn't matter how boring a place might seem. Um, it's just going to take some experience and a keen eye to spot the things that stick out and interest you. Super eerie scene right here with these plastic bags all torn up and caught in these trees. Only made sense to go with a black and white edit for this. Also decided to work this scene a little bit, so I stick around and play around with a slower shutter. That way I could get a little motion blur out of the plastic as it was blowing in the wind. I felt like this blur, it made it kind of ghostly. Is that even a word? 
But yeah, it just added to that eerie feeling. but snap this car hood reflection. I really love the rich blues that come out of this from the Astia film simulation as well. Even more plastic cotton trees. Man, do the people not know what a trash can is? All right, instead of going for the obvious, I instead photographed the shadow of it. probably realize I'm not taking photos of a lot of people. Um, that's about a change right here. As I'm walking, I notice this lady working at her desk and the light is kind of hitting her hand. I didn't really like the composition of that first photo, so uh, I switched my angle a bit and see if anything interesting happens. My patience ultimately paid off here because she did end up scratching her head. Hey, you got the PS5? Yeah. Woo! So as I'm walking here, I spot through the glass um, a staircase in the building and it's kind of highlighted by this light and I kind of play around with it because I'm also getting the reflection behind me on top of it. A bit of a complicated scene but I try to work with it. I actually get lucky here because just as I was about to leave someone started walking down those stairs. So I might have walked a little too far onto private property here. Um, I ended up getting stopped by a security guard and a police officer. Um, they told me I couldn't take photos here. No, it's federal property. Did you take any pictures? No, I didn't. I was about to, but I thought I noticed that I was yes, going to a federal property. pictures in a, a federal village. So yeah, sorry guys. Pictures. Making a video of myself to take pictures today. All right. Just exploring the city. Thank you. Sorry about that. They're pretty chill though. Um, the best thing you can do in a situation like that is to be as polite as you can. I mean, I literally said thank you. Like, for what? <laughs> So I'm by this river now and I'm about to walk around this boardwalk and I do come across a few interesting scenes along the way. Definitely the best scene was watching these two geese attempt to walk on ice. The last photo I ended up getting here on the boardwalk was probably my favorite. I definitely took a page out of one of my favorite photographers currently, 
uh, Sarah Von Rij. I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right. Anyway, you should definitely check out her work. She certainly has a lot of Ernest Haas influence in her style. Um, someone I'm definitely inspired by too. By the way, drop down in the comments one of your favorite female street photographers. I'm really curious to see who you all recommend. Women street photographers are still not represented enough, so you know, hopefully we can help change that a little bit by sharing some of her favorites in the comments section. So as I'm heading back for the day, I see this bench here being a bench and um, I really liked how the light was hitting it and the fact that the bench was green felt like it really came out nicely. It's funny how a simple image like this can just be so visually pleasing um, and that's kind of what I was trying to go for the entire day so to you know finish off with an image like this was pretty successful in my opinion. Okay guys I'm gonna wrap this video up with a few more images that I took from the day. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this POV. Uh, if you did, leave a like and a comment. Uh, yeah, if you do, it really helps the YouTube algorithm. Um, but, you know, most importantly, I hope this video inspired you in some capacity to get out there and do some shooting of your own. Alright guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.